So I did it. I finally moved into my very first adult apartment. As you can see, it's really small. This is my kitchen. My bedroom is right here. We're standing in my living room currently and my bathroom is just around the corner. It's a very small space, but it's mine and I really like it. Hey guys, what is up? It's Amy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an apartment tour, which I'm super excited about. This is my first adult apartment, like all by myself, no roommates. Obviously growing up, I lived with my parents and then when I went to college, my first year I lived in the dorms and then my second year of college, I lived with some roommates in an apartment and I had to share a room. And then after I graduated in May, I moved back into my parents because of COVID and now I'm living in Paris and I finally have my own living situation where I don't have to share a room. There's a couple things that I'll share with you guys that are broken or don't work or are annoying, but I do need to stop talking and show you guys the space because it's super cool. It's gonna be really hard filming because, like I said, it's really small and I'm just gonna be trying to use my tripod, but I don't know how it'll work. We'll start here. So, this is my entryway. Oh, the light actually turned on this side. Usually the light doesn't work very well. As you can see, this is there's no door now. I think it's really interesting um, noticing the differences between like Paris or France or other countries with the United States or at least what I grew up with. And I just noticed that doors are always really weird here. Let me show you guys the hallway. So as you can see, the hallway is dark. You have to press a button to turn on the light. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the bathroom by the way. <laughs> this is my apartment when you first walk in without the tripod usually, but yeah, mm, let's walk in. <laughs> okay, now I'm back in my apartment and I'm just gonna talk normally. There's a chance that the my neighbors can hear me, but it's fine, I don't care. I really like that this apartment has an entryway because a lot of the other apartments that I was looking at, like you walk in and it's just a square and there's not a lot going on in terms of the layout. So I really like the layout of this apartment. When you first walk in, you obviously have the door and then right next to it, this area, which is kind of like my catch all things that I need when I'm leaving the apartment. Ooh. So first off right here, this is where I put my masks, obviously because we are living in the time of COVID and you can't leave the house without a mask. And then also my keys, castle shape. And then next to it, I have this hook, another hook that I use to put all of my bags and stuff. So I have this bag that I use to carry around my groceries and stuff. And then I just have my purse here and my backpack as well. And then next to it on this side of the door, I have a rack where I put my black coat, my Adidas fanny pack, and then just my regular coat and that's this section, it's there, it exists. One of my favorite things about this apartment is the fact that there's a lot of storage and that is the case with down here where we have shoe storage. I don't really have a lot of shoes. I have this pair of black boots, which I really like, especially for the fall time. My white Puma sneakers, which I think are really cute. And my favorite pair of shoes ever, my black Converse. I literally wear these all the time, but they're quickly being taken over by these white slip-ons. And at first they're super uncomfortable, but the more I wear them, they become super comfortable. And these are probably the shoes I wear all the time because they're super easy to put on. So next, let's do the bathroom. When I told you guys this apartment was small, I was not kidding. Everything is just miniature sized, but I'm really excited to have a bathroom though because a lot of the apartments that I was looking at didn't really have a bathroom. Like you'd have a shower most of the time, but it'd be like a shower and then you have the kitchen sink, which is also the bathroom sink. So basically here we have this glass um, shelf. <laughs> I don't know English anymore. We just have this glass shelf. I like having everything out. One of the issues that I've noticed with the sink though is that as you can see, it's not draining at all and I'll have to figure out a way to fix it. So down here we have shelves. As you can see, there's a lot going on in here. You may be wondering, Amy, I thought you tried to live a sustainable lifestyle. Why do you have so much plastic and chemical things going on? Like, <laughs> why, Amy, why? So most of what you see here actually came with the apartment. Some kitchen cleaner, I would never buy this. I just, I don't buy things like this because baking soda and vinegar can do most of the cleaning for you and you don't need to buy all of this stuff. Like, it's kind of pointless to me. Oh my God, my knees. 
I am not Megan the Stanley. Welcome to my shower. Um, as you can see, ooh, it's kind of echoing in here. As you can see, my shower is actually a decent size. I'll put in some pictures of some of the apartments that I looked at, um, some of the shower situations, so you can see how nice it, like this shower is actually really nice. And in the shower, I just have um, my sponge. And then up here, my shower, there's just one of my pads. I use reusable menstrual pads because I'm not about to put a menstrual cup right inside of me because mm -mm, no things. So next we're going to be, ooh, there's two of me. <laughs> so this is my closet. And first I just wanted to say how much I appreciate this huge mirror. But when you open it up, you just have so much storage, which I really appreciate about this apartment. Here, this first shelf right here, it just has pants, random clothes. I really haven't organized it. I really haven't organized it very well, but it's just there. Down here, you have more random clothing, and then <laughs> more random. Like, I really haven't organized this space very much. And then up here, you have my pantry. Um, as you can see, I just have a bunch of random knickknacks. Grocery shopping has been very difficult for me because I don't really know where to go grocery shopping, so I just panic and buy things. <laughs> this shelf just has, I guess, some sugar, lentils, pasta, stuff like that. And then up here, just more random stuff, some snacks. Right across from this mirror closet, we have another closet. Okay, so this closet is mostly just clothing. As you can see, I have this hanger section and and then, um, it's just clothing, clothing, clothing. It just goes for days. And then I put my, um, broom right here just because I didn't know where else to put it. And then here, I plan on just putting my laundry because I don't know where else to put it. Um, this space is way too small for me to just have a laundry hamper hanging out because it'll just, it'll be taking up space for no reason. And then up here, all the way up there, you have more linen and it basically all came with the apartment and um i don't know what to do with it so i'm just gonna leave it there welcome to my bed um yeah that's it pretty boring i literally haven't decorated or done any renovations so here's another angle um as you can see my closet um i don't know if you can see my door this girl was moving from paris back to new york and she was selling a bunch of her plants and when I went she also had a bunch of random things to give out so I got this tray and it's literally a godsend um, great for working in bed, great for just I think it's great, I love it so much great for working in bed and then next to my bed as you can see right here I have this shelf, um, I just have my favorite plant right here it's called Pathos but there's this shelf that came with the apartment and I really like this shelf and then there's some stools right here. Here's another angle of my bedroom. Um, no matter which way you slice it, it's just a bed. On my windowsill, let me show you guys what I'm working with. All across this whole wall, there's just this shelf situation. And I just have a bunch of random things. I have my money jar, shelves, um, we have some my memory cards and stuff. We're just gonna talk about this wall. Um, there's not much going on here, obviously. I just have my pride flag hanging up on this. I feel like this is a clothing rack, like for drawing your clothes in. And then here I just have my suitcase and then some random drawers. So this whole section of the bedroom is super boring, but I plan on having my desk right here. And then right here, I'm going to have this big old shelf and I'm going to put my toaster oven on it um, because there's no microwave in this apartment, which I didn't realize until I moved in but it's fine, not the biggest deal. I am going to buy one myself. The final room in the apartment, my kitchen, which I think I'm going to have the most fun with the kitchen because I love cooking and I really want the kitchen to be a really nice, aesthetically pleasing place to be and I can achieve that. So basically the kitchen is super tiny, but it has everything that you need. Um, I really like this flat top stove. It's really fancy and a lot nicer than a lot of the other apartments I was looking at. And then we also don't have um, metal countertops. A lot of apartments that are super small here in Paris have basically metal grate. Like I'll put pictures for reference, but the countertops are just metal kind of like the color of the sink it's just all metal and it's just really ugly but i like that this is wood and i plan on putting some marble contact paper so that i can be super cute and then here i just have a sink 
just a sink it just a sink it does sink thing um i just have this bowl here that i use for my garlic and fruit some oil that i use to cook like i cook a lot and that's why the oil's out so let's move down so down here right here we have my pots and pans and then also my recycling and garbage and that's that's what's in here that's it that's it nothing else to say oh i also have my dry dish drying towel and then this this towel that i planned on using when i'm washing dishes but i don't use it that much and then on this side we have my freezer and fridge and i'm really happy to actually have a freezer um that's separate because i do a lot of meal prepping so having a separate freezer is nice because it's a little bigger than the other ones and then my fridge is very ugly like there's just random stuff in there and i also have this random dirty towel here but that's not important and then up here i just have random and a random assortment of things cutting board rice salt spoons and stuff plates a big bowl this big old bowl that i'm using for tea because the apartment didn't come with any mugs which didn't make sense to me like there's so much random stuff in here but there's no mugs like did the person who had this apartment before just not use mugs like what is going on maybe they took all of them but that's basically the kitchen <laughs>